New Super Mario Bros. Wii is a game I have a lot of nostalgia for. I mean, I had a Wii in 2009. How do you not? Released in November 2009 in North America, New Super Mario Bros. Wii was the first main platformer to allow four people to play at once on the same screen. Not saying you should do that. If there's one thing this game has taught us, it's don't trust anybody, including your friends. In my opinion, a game like Donkey Kong Country Returns handles co-op way better considering you can't bounce on people's heads for the entire level. But the free-for-all and coin battle mini games in this game were really, really fun because you would just throw people around. Anyway, so for today's Nostalgia Night, we will be playing New Super Mario Bros. Wii, the first Mario game I ever beat, maybe even the first game I ever beat, but today, I mean, you've seen people cover this game constantly, it's an underrated fan favorite among the Nintendo franchises, yeah. Starting off at World 1, this was the place I have the most nostalgia for because this is the place that was the easiest accessible for a four-year-old that wasn't good at any video games up to this point. So this is where I spent a lot of my time. Let's just play through 1-1 real quick. Let's get a mushroom so that I don't die in 1-1 and I, I just got hit. Oh my goodness, I'm exposing myself. So a funny story to tell while I die on 1-1. My original copy of this game, I don't know what happened to it, but the, the disc got scratched miserably, so I ended up buying it again in like, what was it 2019? Like three years ago I bought it again, and then I played through it, and you know, this game, I had, I had to buy it again because I really wanted to play through what was one of my favorite games as a kid, and yeah, I don't regret buying it and to be honest I got it for a pretty good deal like 20 bucks and now like you try to buy this game it's like 35 or 40 probably if it's in good condition like mine was but we're at the end of the level so I'm gonna shut up oh yeah these toads would spawn I remember I would I would go on these levels when the toads would show up and I would just like purposely kill the toads I was a monster Right, so I think they hide in the block somewhere. Oh, yep, there he is. My sound's down a lot, so I couldn't hear him. I'm trying to pick him up, but I keep using the propeller. Okay, so what you can do now, take the Yoshi and just eat him. And take him away. So what I wanted to do in this level was... Ah, uh, not, not lose Yoshi. That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to take the shortcut, or the, the secret which was a secret that I actually found out on my own as a kid, and it, like, blew my mind when I figured it out. Because I would see that that uh, cannon on the world map, but I wouldn't know how to get it, to get there, and then it, I'd just be baffled. So then I went in this, uh, this level, then I did this for no reason, and I found the secret. So, yeah, I was ecstatic after that. I'm going to spit him out at the end. What the heck? Wait, does that not count as me taking Toad? What the heck? And I just ran myself into a Goomba fight. I remember I would have such a hard time with these as a kid, even though all you have to do is this. And I just lost my favorite power-up. And I just lost two power-ups. <laughs> Maybe it is still challenging for me. I'm playing with just the Wii Remote by by its side, so... So, pay attention to my live count, and I'm gonna go into this green mushroom house, and when I come out, I might look different. Dude, these mushroom houses were so fun. This cannon one, dude. This is one of the funnest minigames ever. I gotta line it up. Be patient. 5,000 years later. And I got every single one. <laughs> I'm just too good at the game. So, pay attention to Mario. He's lost something. When I was a kid, I didn't understand why he would just randomly lose his hat. 
And so I would die on purpose to get the hat back. And I would have to do that over and over again since I had 99 lives. It's just... I was just a stupid kid. That's all I was. I remember a specific time in this game when I was playing with one of my friends. Uh, like, for some reason, we didn't want to be Mario. Just because first player always has to, has to be Mario. So we fought over that. And I was like, hey, if you be Mario, you get to choose the levels. And he's like, okay, fine. So then I got to be Blue Toad. For some reason, we always wanted to be Blue Toad. All right, you know what? Let's do the Bowser fight. And then let's show off two awesome glitches that I found out in this game. I mean, they're pretty well known, but they're hilarious. So here we are in Bowser's castle. And if I can't kill simple Goombas, I don't know how I'm going to fare against the King of Koopas. But I mean, apparently it's not well because I've already taken a hit. Oh my goodness, I just, can, I just cannot do anything in this game without getting hit. I could hook up a, a nunchuck, and then I'd be able to play way better, but I'm too lazy. Alright, we're in section two. This part of the level, like, just creeped me out for some reason as a kid. All the, the levels where the lava would rise, or lower, it was just, like, really creepy for me. And then these platforms, like, looked like bones and stuff. This is just, yeah. I, I don't I, I was scared of Mario, basically. <laughs> Alright, there's the exit. Let's go here. Uh, okay, so we're at the main gate now. So let's grab the flag. And then, of course, there's always a power-up right here. And basically every Mario game. Okay, so now we run past this long hallway. And we don't get hit in the process. And there's Bowser. And there's Peach. That's definitely Peach. And so now we just wait for Bowser to jump in the air. Not like that. That's a baby jump. Come on. And now we just press this button. And he just, you know, felt like leaving a button there just for fun. And so we did it. We saved Peach from the mighty Koopa. And now everything is good. <gasps> Peach is a man? And so Bowser gets morbidly obese, and then now this happens where you just run from him. As a kid, I was kind of disappointed in this fight just because I thought, like, this is just kind of a runaway rather than a fight. But it's more like a level, and this is really entertaining to play, so. And how did I not get hit there? Okay, the hitbox for these might be pretty small. Well, they have to be, because I definitely should should have gotten hit by that one. There is a propeller suit later in here. I think it's like, it's actually right down here in this question block. Let's not fall off. So here, I'm pretty sure this part of the level is just kind of a breeze. A few moments later. Oh no, I'm toast. <laughs> well, I'm dead. That was embarrassing. Should I take that out? No. What? Who said that? Okay, we're back. Let's not mess up this time. He's back to being big, and I somehow did not get hit. No! Oh, dude, the ground pound didn't work because it's using an itsy bitsy Wii controller. No! <laughs> Impatient me. Ground pounds to try and get the power up and then just falls to his death. Oh my goodness. Oh, come on, me. It's not that difficult. Alright, I decided because I keep dying, I'm just gonna. Shut up, chair. I'm gonna beat Bowser by not using any power ups because I'm just that good at the game. Despite I can't even beat him with power ups. I swear, if I win this after not being able, or after dying twice with power-ups, then that's, I would say embarrassing, but I guess that's not embarrassing. I don't know. Okay, Mario, you got this. We're close to the end, buddy. Close to the end. Yes. Mario, you got it. 
It's like you're a natural platformer. There it is. He did it! <laughs> Dude, I don't even know. And then he just sinks in his own lava. Alright, let's go to... I think it's World 5? Uh... I think World 3. Alright, I was wrong. It's just, it's, uh, World 4. I hope. Yep, this is it. Okay, here we are. So... I gotta freeze one of these, uh... Koopa Troopas. I think this is the area to do it. Let's get this guy out of the way. And... Nope, that's... Yep, there we go. I got it. And... Coins go flying. And I'm not slowing down the footage. This is the frame rate right now. It is just... The, the, the game is breaking right now. Because of how many coins are there. So... If I could try my best to get to the coins, then it will speed up a bit. Alright. It, uh, yeah, it's speed up a little bit. It starts to speed up the performance. But yeah, th this is the whole glitch. So, it's just dumb fun, I guess. So, uh, let's just go to the last glitch and then yep the reason i saved this glitch for last is because this game involves crashing the entire thing okay so this glitch involves two people and i don't care about the battery level and so you have to go into coin battle and it's the first level in coin battle all right luigi and so then just make my way towards the end. I'm gonna need a mushroom. Oh, that's better. Alright, here it is. So all you have to do is jump on these Koop Troopas and make sure you ground pound before. And notice how the block just turns solid. And this happens. The game is now frozen. Well, thank you for watching all the way through. This was longer than what I wanted it to be. Next week, there's going to be fewer uploads because I'm going to be away. Uh, I do have a nostalgia night for that week planned ahead of time. But other than that, there's not going to be anything. But, yep, yeah, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next nostalgia night, hopefully. Better be there.